Hey everyone, welcome back to Lace Up Channel. My name's Mickey. Today, I'm gonna to talk about pricing. How pricing works and why you're not using pricing in your distribution business to move the most amount of product as possible. Most people, they associate a standard price to an item and that's how they live their entire life. They don't use temporary price reductions, promos, price rules, price levels to get the most out of their potential profit. But today in this video, we're gonna cover all of it. Let's get right into it. So the first type of pricing, the most standard price, is the price you set on an item when you first set it up in your accounting system. Let's say that you sell candy bars. When you're typing in that candy bar item into your accounting system, you put in a sales price. That is your standard price. Anytime you create a new customer, when you go sell that customer a candy bar, that candy bar is at five bucks. Most advanced accounting systems have something called price levels. A price level allows you to associate a price list or a list of prices to a customer. Let's say for example, you sell candy bars, chips, and soda. Each one at $5 is a standard price. Well, with price levels, you can sell your candy bar at $5.50, you can sell your soda at $4.50, and you can sell your chips at $4.75, and then you can associate that price list to Johnny's Supermarket. And you can go to Johnny's Supermarket. Anytime you make an order or an invoice for Johnny's Supermarket, it will take that price list and associate it into that order. So it reads from the price list as you're making the transaction. Now the cool thing about these price levels or price lists is that you can associate them across a set of customers. So you can literally assign a price list to Johnny Supermarket 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. This means that every time you make a transaction for these guys, it'll pull from that pricing. So that is how a price level or price list works. Now it starts getting really interesting on the third type of pricing. It's called a price rule. A price rule enables you to select one item and set a price for that item across a subset of customers. So you can literally grab your candy bar and say, hey look, candy bars are $3.50 for these 100 customers. And you can associate that price rule to 100 customers individually or to one customer group which contains those 100 customers at once. And this means that you don't have to go to every single price level if you use price rules and change the price, right, to 350. So if you wanna easily apply one price across an entire subset of customers, you're gonna be using price rules. Once you have your standard price, your price rules, and your price levels set up, there is one price tip and trick that's gonna help take your business to the next level. That's called promotional pricing. A promo price allows you to set a start date and an end date for a price. So for example, let's say that your, your candy bars are normally $5, you've got a price level at four bucks, maybe you got a price rule set up for some customers at 350. Well, the cool thing is about a promo, you can literally discount 50 cents right for every customer across the board or for a subset of customers during that date range so if valentine day is coming up and you want to discount that candy board at three bucks you can literally discount 50 cents across everything and then at the end of february that special will uh, expire and then the price will revert back to whatever price rule or price level that customer has these promos allow you again to set these temporary price reductions and in addition to that you've got other types of promos available in the system like buy 10 of this item of this flavor and get one free of this item in this flavor or buy 1 to 10 get it at this price buy 11 to 20 get it at this price buy 21 to 30 and get it at this price promos literally allow you to configure an infinite combination of possibilities so that you can give your customers the best possible deal so that they'll buy the most product possible from you if you're not using promo pricing you need to get on a system immediately now that you know all the different pricing, you're probably asking yourself, your mind is probably jumbled because you've got no idea which pricing takes priority over the other. In our system, the lowest price wins. So if you have a standard price, a price level, and a temporary price reduction or a promo, whichever one the lowest one is, is the one that wins. But there's other systems out there that are much more advanced that we pull pricing from, like for instance, Fishbowl. Fishbowl allows you to set a tier one price, which is a standard price, a tier two price, which is a price rule, and a tier three price, which is a promotional price, okay? And literally, Fishbowl will grab the tier three first, followed by the tier two, followed by the tier one. So for instance, if an item for a customer does not have a tier three, Fishbowl will automatically read tier two. If it does not have a tier two fishbowl, it will automatically read a tier one. So the bottom line is, the system that you're using, whether it's ours or fishbowl or Dynamics or QuickBooks, will almost always read the smallest price first, or it'll use a tiered structure to get priority to one price over the other. That covers our basic explanation of pricing structure, price rules, price levels, promos, and standard pricing. 
If you guys have any questions, hit me down in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll make sure to answer all of your questions. And I look forward to seeing you guys next video. Take care.